Hi, and welcome to this section of the Pre-Algebra Tutor. And in this section, we're going to cover the greatest common factor, greatest common factor. So this section will cover greatest common factor. The next section will be something kind of similar called the least common multiple. A lot of times students get these two concepts confused, but I wanted to break it up into two different sections so that you know you guys will have a lot of examples of each type and really understand the difference between them and so on. It's one of those things we're building on what we've learned before. We've learned about factors before, so we've learned about that. Uh, in the next section, we'll be talking about least common multiple. We've learned about multiples, and so we'll go in that direction. Here, we're going to talk about the greatest common factor. You know, there's something in algebra that we're going to learn a little bit later on called factoring, factoring an expression. And that basically is a way to make the expression simpler. And I don't want to get into what factoring is in terms of algebra right now, but I want to tell you that what you're going to learn in this section is going to give you those tools so that later on when we start factoring an expression, it'll be easy. So and rather than lump it all together, I want to give you a lesson on greatest common factor. Then when we get on to algebraic expressions later, when we start talking about factoring an expression, it'll be easy for you because you've already got experience with greatest common factor. So this stuff that we're learning in this section is directly applicable to what we're going to learn a little bit later. All right, the greatest common factor, what does it mean? You have to look at the words, greatest common factor. So what you're going to have is two or more, in this case, we're gonna start with numbers. So two or more numbers, just regular old numbers. And what we're going to do is list the factors of each of those numbers. And we've already talked about how to list factors. So you, you know, if you don't remember that, go back and look at that other section. But we're going to get some practice here as well. We're going to list those factors out. And don't forget the factors of a number are really just the numbers that can divide evenly into this number. And so we're going to list them all for two or more numbers. We're going to have two lists. One is a list of factors for the first number that we have, and the other is a list of factors for the second number that we have. And what we want to do is find the greatest common one. In other words, the largest factor that is a member of both lists. In other words, we're going to list a list of factors here and a list of factors here for each number. And we're just going to look at these numbers and figure out which one is the biggest that's in both of these lists, the common factor, the greatest common factor. So it has a complicated sounding name, but really it's not a big deal. You list the factors, you look at which one is the largest that's in common to both of these numbers that you're talking about. So let's go ahead and do it. The best way to do it is by example. Let's take a very, very simple, simple, simple case. Let's look at the, um, the numbers 1 and 2. So if I told you, or if you were taking a test and, it, and the test said, find the greatest common factor of these two numbers. Well, this is a really, really simple problem because the numbers are so small. So what you need to do is list the factors first of each number. So the factors for the number 1, let's say. The only factor of the number 1 that exists is the number 1. In other words, Remember, factors, there's lots of different ways to think about it, but factors are basically what numbers can divide into this number. Well, the only number that can divide into 1 is 1, so we, we list that as a factor. Now, the number 2, what, factors can what numbers can divide into 2? The only numbers that, that can go into this is the number 1 and the number 2. So, you know, you can take 2 and you can divide by 1. You can take 2 and you can divide by 2. But you can't take 2 and divide by 5 or divide by 7 or divide by 10. You can't do that. Now, in the previous section, so there's, there's no more list here. In the previous section, we talked about how to find factors. One way to do it is just to list what you can multiply together. So here we have 1 times 2 to give us 2. You also have 2 times 1, but reverse doesn't really matter. So that's why these two numbers are the factors. Here 